The news of country music legend and actor Chris Christopherson's death on September 28, 2024, was particularly significant for longtime Hallmark star Christopher Polaha, who shared in an Instagram post the following day that he was named after the three-time Grammy winner. On September 29, after Christopherson's family posted a statement on his death at age 88, Polaha shared what it meant to him to be connected to the star by name, explaining, my sweet mom spelled my name with a K and two Fs because of this man. I've known of him my whole life and loved his music and movies, Polaha continued. Because of this connection, I was told story after story throughout my life from people who knew Christofferson of how Chris moved through the world in a very special way. He's a legend and a class act. Christopher Polaha passed up chance to connect with Chris Christofferson years ago. Silly me. In his tribute, Polaha shared how much he wishes he could have met Christofferson. But the silver lining, he said, is that his wife, Julianne Polaha, was once able to tell Christofferson about their common bond. The closest I ever got to meeting Chris Christofferson was during an elevator ride at the Toronto Film Festival back in 2003, Polaha recalled. I had just met Robert Duval, who Chris was in town to support and I wanted to whip out my driver's license and say, see that spelling? That's because of you. But I didn't want to embarrass the girl I was with. I was trying to play it cool, so I didn't meet him, silly me. The cool part is, Polaha continued, I later married that girl and she did a few years later and told him that story and it afforded them a moment of bonding and me the promise of a warm hello if Chris and I were to ever cross paths again. We never did. Polaha concluded. Rip Chris, I'm honored to carry on the spelling. Fans and friends flooded Polaha's post with comments, including Hallmark star Benjamin Ayers, who hadn't heard about Christofferson's passing and commented, Oh no, love this man. You got namesake gold, my brother. One of Polaha's fans wrote, I had wondered about the spelling of your name and his. You'll meet him in heaven, to which Polaha replied, Amen. Another fan chimed in, Great story I know one day you will finally meet, and you tell him just how much he meant to you. Chris Christofferson's family encourages fans to think of him when they see a rainbow. In Christofferson's family's statement, they told his legions of fans, Thank you for loving him all these many years, and when you see a rainbow, know he's smiling down at us all. According to Variety, the first statement was from Christofferson's wife of 41 years, Lisa Myers, and his eight children and seven grandchildren. His daughter, Kelly Christofferson, also posted a photo of her dad reaching his hand out to look like he was touching a rainbow. In her post, she included some of the lyrics from one of the many songs he wrote, From Here to Forever. And darling, if we're not together, there's one thing I want you to know. I'll love you from here to forever and be there wherever you go. Christofferson first made a name for himself as a prolific songwriter in Nashville in the early 1970s. According to Variety, number one hits he penned included Ray Price's For the Good Times, Johnny Cash's Sunday Morning Coming Down, Sammy Smith's Help Me Make It Through the Night, and Janis Joplin's smash hit Me and Bobby McKee. He also released several of his own albums and won three Grammys. His final studio album, The Cedar Creek Sessions, was released in 2016, and he officially retired from music in 2020. Meanwhile, Christofferson was also a busy Hollywood actor for many years. His breakout role was in the 1976 remake of A Star is Born, in which he earned a Golden Globe, according to People, for his portrayal of rock star John Norman Howard opposite Barbara Streisand. The movie was famously remade again in 2018 with Bradley Cooper in that role. Streisand paid tribute to Christofferson in a lengthy social media post after his death, writing that when they reunited at a concert in London's Hyde Park in 2019, he was as charming as ever, and the audience showered him with applause. It was a joy seeing him receive the recognition and love he so richly deserved.